friends, and welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host, and today we get a chance to look at one of the top two free Bible study softwares for your iPhone. It's called eSword. You go ahead and tap on it and get to work right away. Now, it can work on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod. It's pretty straightforward to see where you're at. You just pull down, it says Genesis 1. If you want to go ahead and just swipe over, that, of course, would be Genesis 2. Another way is right down here. You can't quite see it. There's a little tiny arrow right to the right of the stylus, barely visible. If you tap that arrow with your thumb, that will also allow you to advance that page. And, of course, there's another arrow here to go backwards. Up here is some great stuff. Uh, this has one of the most powerful free search engines around. First of all, to navigate, over here on the right, there's a little book. You tap that book, and we have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. That's the Old Testament. Down here, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's the New Testament. We like to go to uh, Matthew 24 as our litmus test because that lets us see if the uh, publisher or the person that made this thing just a moment, there we are, uh, shows that it has the red letter edition. We look at it, yep, yeah, it's at Matthew 24, and there indeed is the red letter edition. The publishers are learning this. These are the words of Jesus Christ, God's Son. If you go over one page, you can see a whole bunch of red letters and see what the Son of God had to say while he was down here. That's great stuff. To navigate farther, let's just say you went to the whole end of the Bible, Revelation uh, 1, 1, there it is. Check your work, Revelation 1. Now, to go back, if you were to hit this little arrow here, the back arrow, some softwares will take you all the way back to where you were, which was Matthew 24. Others will take you back to a different place. Some will take you back just one chapter. I want to show you how this one works. See, it says Revelation 1. Let's go back just one chapter. There it is. And there it is, Jude 1. This is the book before Revelation. So as you tap it back, it doesn't go back to where you came from. It goes back to sequentially the chapter before. So that's good to know. Now, while you're here, if you were to see something that says, oh boy, I wonder what that is, and you were just to tap it, you can take this and you can highlight it like we're doing right here. Just highlight a few words. And it says share. When we hit the share button, up comes the iMessage and also comes the email. If I were to hit the iMessage, it will excise just that little tiny bit of scripture right here, put it in the message, we can hit send. This is great if you want to perhaps send some uh, an email to yourself if you're doing some a large uh, project, a lot of research, or you just want to share some information with somebody. Right here, KJV, that's the name of the Bible. This will allow you to get lots. By hitting that plus sign, you can load lots of Bibles in here, many of them free. Some have a small fee. And over on the left, we're just going to take a brief look at this. This, as you can see, is going to have a lot of uh, a control panel, bookmarks, the highlights, display settings. I like to go to display settings first. This lets us turn up the font. I've previously turned it up all the way so we can see it for this uh, teaching. But right here it says daylight, lamp light, and low light. The background right here, if you can see, has a little bit of brown background. If I hit daylight, it's real white down here. If I hit lamp light, there's a very light, light hue of brown. If I hit low light for low light reading, then it changes the whole thing to where I can read this thing in the evening and, and not disturb people, not throw out too much uh, light. Let's go ahead and leave it on lamp light. We're done with that. Go take another look. To, that has Bibles, commentaries, dictionaries. We could get caught up for half an hour here. Sufficient to say that will be perhaps for a deeper lesson sometime. Let's just get you to navigate this thing. Now this is worth the price of admission right here. This little search little search icon here, kind of a magnifying glass. This is the strongest free one I've ever found for an iPhone. You can have all words, any words or phrase. Let's just say the word copper. Copper is only found once in the Bible, by the way, the metal copper. Type in copper, C-O-P-P-E-R. Hit search, and just that quick, there it comes up, copper, the one time it's found. Now, if we were to take this uh, partial match off, and we're going to move the partial match off, there was a guy named Alexander the Coppersmith. I believe he's in there too. Let's go ahead and search with it off, and there it is. Now, not just copper is found, but since we removed the partial match, it says Alexander the Coppersmith. That's this guy right here. He's had some problems. And so uh, this is a, a very, very good, good tool for when you're uh, wanting to do some things. Now, on the other hand, if we were to turn this thing off and take the word, oh, let's take wine, for instance, W-I-N-E. 
and search for that. There's every mention of it, and some of them, we'll just take a look down here real quick, see what we can find. Well, let's go ahead where it says View All. And this is a great tool. It makes it bigger. You can easily go through and look at all the verses that talk about the word wine. If you see one you like, pick it out, just tap on it. It'll take you to that right to that verse in context. You can read and do your research. Great tool. Let's try one more. Let's try, we've done this before, the word India. You and your friends are talking. You wonder if India has mentioned the Bible. We'll go ahead and clear this out. I N D I A. Hit the search. Just that quick, sure enough, two places it's found. Hit over here the View All tab, and it brings it up larger. It highlights each time India's for us, once there and once there. And we can just scroll through at the very bottom. It has a summation. Both of them are found in the book of Esther, two verses and two matches. This may not mean a lot now, but when you get to really taking care of business, doing some deep studies, that can be helpful. Down here, let's look at this briefly. This is the Bible. We know that. Commentary. Let's go ahead right now and go back to our friend over here, Matthew. And let's go to 24. There it is. When we hit this commentary button right here, commentary, it pops up a commentary on Matthew 24, wherever we're at. Now, this is from the Cambridge Bible. These guys at one time were the gold standard. They've had some real problems uh, with certain publishing arms and the Oxford debates. And we don't want to get into a, you know, that kind of thing right now. But sufficient to say this will give you a little bit of a uh, commentary. You want to be careful of these. Some of these commentaries are nothing more than a way to divert and bring you over to one side or the other side of an issue. For instance, if a commentary said copper is found once in the Bible, blah, 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 that'd be decent. But we talked about copper, copper and tried to talk about not drinking wine or not having a divorce or tithing to the church. And that, that would be disingenuous. So you want to be careful of these things. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's try one other one to see how that works. Now, we, remember there, there's Matthew 24. Back at the Bible, check our work, Matthew 24. Let's go. Many people think that Revelation 12, if you could be only have one chapter in the entire Bible, you're going to be stranded on an island. It should be Revelation 12. That, that, uh, this chapter right here. There's Revelation 12. You can read it yourself sometime. If you go to the commentary, it also jumps to Revelation 12. It follows along with what you're doing. Now on the reference icon here, when we tap the reference, now it's going to go into a little bit of this. This is actually Fox's Book of Martyrs. It doesn't have anything really to do with uh, Revelation 12. But this Fox's Book of Martyrs will tap right up here. We can add a whole bunch of reference books, which cost a lot of money absolutely free with this place. Tap the plus sign, you'll have a selection some have to pay for, others are absolutely free, and you're ready to go. I'm not going to get into this thing over here. Over here we talk about lexicons, uh, dictionaries, things like that. No reason to really uh, trouble ourselves with those matters. So this has been a brief highlight. Let's go ahead and tap this thing off real quick. And uh, we'll snap it off like this. And so you can see E-Sword. That's the one that has a light, kind of a turquoise background to the icon and a white sword. Takarta, the other top two, has a darker blue with a blue cross for its icon. Hope this has helped you. Take care. God bless you. And don't forget to read that Bible.